Hi, it's Gila Nehemia, a sacred erotic love coach, poet, and author. Um, just thinking about, you know, what would you do to find your ideal partner? Um, a few years ago, I would, I would have done anything, you know, I was just so in that space. And I realized, you know, what I would really do, what I really ended up doing is finding myself. <laughs> um, and, uh, and that has been priceless, you know, no, no amount of money could ever, ever um, be put on that. You know, it's like, I am priceless, you are priceless. And really to, to really go there, you know, really go there into the deep darkness of yourself and really heal from all that you feel, all the pain that you might have felt in your life it takes a deep, deep commitment to you. And, you know, the question is, what would you do to get there? You know, are you, if you're still, you know, spinning your wheels and if you're still like, who can ever love me like I want to be loved? You know, the answer is, how do I love myself like I want to be loved? And are, are you able to do that? That is the biggest answer. You know, I remember watching, you know, um, how to get the guy or, you know, whatever those uh, words are and being like, yeah, you know, okay, um, I want this, but what am I willing, uh, what am I willing to do to get this? And then I realized that it's not about what I'm willing to do to get what I want. It's what am I willing to let go of? to really have the love that I truly deeply desire. Now, if that resonates with you, then it's all about erotically loving yourself. Because if you're resonating with me, you're resonating with my message. And if that is res resonating with you, then I am inviting you to go deeper, to really go deeper. Because you know, there's so many people I talk to who are very unsatisfied with their relationships, but yet don't want to take that next step into what is going to satisfy them. Now that is the biggest question that I have for you. Are you going to continue to live the life you live at the pace you're going? And I'm not saying that you're not doing a lot of inner work. You, you are, you know, but it takes, it takes really, um, allowing someone else to see that with you. You know, I know that you've been meditating. I know that you've been working through things. I know that you've been, you know, um, going through a lot of challenges with these moons and these energies. I'm sure you are. Everybody is. But the question really still is there. The deepest healing and the darkest healing is dealing with your demons, dealing with your darkness. Are you willing to go there? Because if you're willing to go there, I'm right there with you. Um, that's where the gems are. That's where you finally see things in its true light. And you're able to see it so clearly and you're able to see your desires right there for you. Thanks all of you for joining. Um, and please comment, you know, I'll, I'll try to wave to some of you. Um, so thank you so much. And, you know, please comment if you'd like to, because I think that this is really important for anybody. You know, I, I, I think I might've mentioned this before, but when I was in, um, Dharmashala, um, there was on the, in the newspaper, self-love is a new marriage. Now it's not about just marriage with another. It's a marriage within yourself. Really loving yourself ironically not only brings you to the place of allowing someone in your life whom you really are going to love in a very, very extensive, expansive way, but it's all about loving yourself. And if you are having challenges with that, allow yourself to be guided to the place where you can get there. Because we are all one. We are like this. We are all connected. And, and you know, I used to make so much money, but I didn't have the love that I desired. And I finally realized that, you know, a while ago, I can have everything I desire. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It can be everything. But that realization came with a lot of deep healing. And it can be on a mental level, right? I'm just waving to everybody. It can be on a mental level, like I understand it, but no, it has to be in your heart. And to open your heart so fully that I see another <laughs> anywhere and my heart is just open to them, really open, that brings in everything. That brings in everything. And, you know, it's, it's just really a matter of being held in a sacred container. 
and allowing yourself to release, to cry, to let go of the pain. Because as my, and I've met so many people who've done so much inner work, and you are you are so, I so witness you in your power. And if there's still something you're struggling with, and you're listening to me, then there's something that still needs to be done by the two of us. And this takes it to a whole other level. If there, if you see anything in me that's inspiring, then you're seeing something in yourself that still needs to be um, taken to another level. I'm inviting you to my group, Embody Your Deepest Desires. I'm going to be doing a three-day challenge there. I still have yet to announce it in the group, but I'm going to be doing a three-day challenge starting tomorrow. And it really is going to center on those three days about erotically loving yourself and allowing the love to come in. So if that's something you're interested in, it's a free three-day challenge. I'm inviting you into the group. Um, those of you who'd like to take the challenge, go come into my group. I'm, you know, it's free. You just come in, you answer a couple of questions and I'll be giving the challenge out, um, for the next three days starting tomorrow. And, um, and those of you that are going to really want to deep dive and are really just want to just, you know, go for it, you know, DM me and I, we will, um, talk about next steps. Either way, you know, I think that the, you know, it's really about you totally, loving you and if that's something that you're desiring that's something that you can definitely find with me following me following me in my groups really just allowing yourself to be and heal and open your heart because you know we many of us have closed our hearts for so long because of all the pain that we felt and all the traumas that we've gone through and you know all the feelings of victimization that we felt well you know it's time to just let that go and that's not an easy thing to do it's easier to said than done and um, I have the secret sauce of doing that and you know I, I had actually had to say to myself today the love that I have um, in my life is worth so much more you know so it's millions it's like trillions of dollars <laughs> because it's so expensive and so amazing and every day people say to me how I'm glowing and that's just coming from deep in my heart it's just my light and it's my gift to humanity to um, help you to open up your heart to your light because you have a light that's burning, burning bright. And if it's at embers now, it's going to be a volcano very, very soon. So join my group, Embody Your Deepest Desires, to learn more about my challenge. I'll put the link here. I'll be speaking about the challenge um, soon in my group. So you'll get to learn more. And um, it's all about erotic self-love of you being real with yourself. And that's when you allow the divine to co-create with you, to create a love partnership as well as a love, expansive love with your children. You know, it just goes beyond and beyond and beyond. But if that's something that you're looking for, definitely join my group. Embody your deepest desires. Love you so, so much. Namaste. I'm Shanti Shalom.